Hi, uh, welcome back to the AEC Bar. Uh, I'm here again with my colleague Peter Ingalls, uh, our infrastructure expert, and then my name's Lee Mullin. Um, and today we're going to talk about, you know, a, a couple of the tools which we see different in, uh, industries using. Uh, so Civil 3D is a tool that is primarily used in the infrastructure industry, mm -hmm. and Revit we primarily seen being seen in, used in the building in, industry. Although, you know, there is definitely a crossover starting to happen. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you about, Peter, and something we get asked about a lot, is mm -hmm. how, how can you work with the two together so you can maybe get that uh, external landscaping mm -hmm. uh, linked in with the building? Yeah. So, so before I answer that question, I probably want um, to mention Civil 3D is um, the tool we typically see with infrastructure. A lot of people think it's only for roads and highways, but mm. as you said, it's definitely applicable for the landscaping and the site design. And earthworks. And earthworks, kind of drainage, yeah. um, little access roads, parking layouts, these type of stuff. So mm. this is typical things you need to design around a building. Yeah. Right. So Civil 3D is not made to design buildings. That's where we have Revit for, which is the perfect tool to do that. So that's where the question comes, how can we integrate? I know a lot of people try to do the landscaping and the access roads in um, Revit itself mm. with very mixed or poor results, so I, yeah. I, I can say I think. Yeah. So, so we more and more get the question, how can we um, combine the two in an efficient, efficient workflow? Um, and I think that there's been or there are a couple of possibilities. Um, mm. I don't want to elaborate on, on each of, of everyone, but I think in one of the previous AC bar videos you mentioned about one of the new features of, of Revit 2018 where you can underlay an Eversworks model. Yeah, yeah, so we did that with um, James Austin, yeah, correct. Uh, product manager, and we were talking about how you can use that to get over 50 different file formats into mm -hmm. Navisworks and then pull that information across into Revit for large landscape models. Yeah, so we have the same capability since two years in Civil 3D. So what looks at the moment the best or the most efficient workflow is, is use Navisworks models as the intermediate mm. to bring or to underlay a Revit um, model into Civil 3D. Um, based on that underlay, do the landscaping, do the, the, the terrain modeling, road modeling, bring that road model in Neversbooks and underlay it in Revit. And then mm. there's kind of a very flexible and, and very um, dynamic link between it because it's, because it's an underlay and a link. If I make changes to my civil design, um, it will show up in, in, in the uh, Revit link as well. Pretty, yeah. pretty simple. So um, I think this is probably the best workflow, the, 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 the most consistent workflow as well. Um, which I prefer above the other ones, which is kind of trying to get something done and get halfway through um, um, a solution and then have to fiddle around too much, I think. So, so with these new capabilities and then the fact that we have that Navisworks underlay in both Civil 3D and Revit, yeah. I think we have um, a decent approach now to, to share that information in an efficient way. Yeah, and I think you know the, the one thing I see with it as well is it allows you to, because you're using Navisworks as that intermediary, um, it gives it gives you know the, the different engineers the uh, spell checking tools, the proofreading tools they need to be able to make sure that their pipe design network works. For example, they can run through and either check hard clashes or clearance clashes mm -hmm. to make sure there's enough space for your various different services to work through, um, as well as all the other capabilities Navisworks yeah. has. Um, so I think you know I think that's really useful. We've got a couple of videos that you know have been showing during. The join here if you've got any more questions about this topic um, do feel free to email in um, so if you email vacbar at autodesk.com um, or comment on the YouTube video uh, we'll take those questions and hopefully we'll get back to you soon uh, thank you again thank you